today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about the four main different kinds of guitar strings. All right, so the four main kinds of you know guitar strings that we see most of the time are bronze, phosphor bronze, nickel, and nickel steel. And I was thinking, you know, I'm from Augusta, Georgia. Mr. Brown's from Augusta, Georgia. Mr. Brown's name made out of bronze. So I thought, you know, we're gonna cruise down here, hang out with Mr. Brown, and we're gonna talk about strings. So let's talk about the first kind, bronze, just like this guy right here. Bronze strings are actually 80% copper and 20% zinc. Uh, they're really bright. They sound amazing when you first put them on. But one of the things you might find with bronze strings when you first put them on is even though they sound great, they start to tarnish uh, very quickly with like weather and moisture and humidity. Not unlike Mr. Brown here, who's been standing out here for a few years now, and you can see that he is not bright and gold and beautiful, but tarnished by the weather. Your strings do pretty much the same thing. Do you use uh, bronze strings on your acoustic? What has been your experience with them? How long do they last? Do me a favor and leave that in the comments below. I'm curious to know what you think of that. Now the second kind of acoustic guitar strings are the kind that I personally like and when we did this whole experiment with the whole, you know, we're doing like eight different sets and my wife is giving me the sets bare and we're trying them, you know, that experiment I'm doing all with phosphor bronze because that is my favorite, per personally my favorite. The difference is really it's just the percentage of copper and zinc in the string. Instead of being 80, 20, it's like 92 and 8, okay? So it's just a percentage change but it changes a lot of how the, br the strings are bright. They're actually a little bit more mellow to start with but in my opinion they stay even for a longer period of time and they don't tarnish as easily so bronze strings brighter but don't last as long in my opinion phosphor bronze they start a little duller but they last a lot longer and I like the more mellow sound that comes from them little quick note here about mr. Brown in uh, Augusta Georgia let me show you something really cool so right up there is a camera and then right down here is a thing that you can call right there and you can actually get a selfie taken and they'll email it to you and uh, it's pretty cool. Okay moving on to electric strings this is where it gets a little interesting you know um, you had to have some sort of magnetic string for an electric guitar to work obviously right you can't have copper because copper is not magnetic the pickups won't pick it up um, now they still will pick up the center core but it doesn't sound as good so they had to come up with something different Back in the old days, they used straight nickel. In fact, a lot of people still do use nickel because it's a nice, mellow, bluesy, and jazzy sound. But as nickel prices went up because the military was changing what color or what metals they were using and you know availability, it always seems to come down to availability and price in the guitar industry. Then we have like a nickel-plated steel, which is more common today. And so uh, you'll hear a lot of country players and a lot of people that really need a lot of like attack like super pick attack twang basically out of their strings they'll go for that blend that plated stuff instead of like a solid nickel string it's a little more mellow the jazz guys like it the blues guys really like it and uh, try them you know so here's my question what electric guitar strings do you use do you use nickel or do you use nickel plated do you also have you also experimented in any of the other stuff Cobalt, for instance, is a whole nother thing that's a little bit more niche than normal nickel and nickel plated strings. What do you use for your electric guitar strings? How long do they last for you? Just curious what your personal success is with those various strings. Do me a favor and leave it in the comments below. Well, we'd like to thank Mr. James Brown for joining us today in our little conversation about guitar strings. I know that this is really kind of a fun uh, experiment that I've been doing with the acoustic stuff over the last few weeks, and I know we have a few weeks left. Do me a favor. My name is Dylan, and this is Dylan Talks Tone. You know that part. But can you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button? We're doing all kinds of cool stuff like this. Hit the little bell next to it, and the next time we make a cool new video like this, you'll know, and you'll be able to watch it along with us. And if you have any questions about guitar tone, guitar tech, anything like that, put that in the comments below, and I'll make a video just for you.